Thank you, Steve. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, you can see I've got my Ofsted clipboard here. <laughs> yes, it is. It's actually what that is. When I was asked to 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 write something for this, um, I racked my brains really. What could I contribute? And then I remembered what better example or worse example than a guy who I used to live next door to many years ago, an old chap called Gilbert. This poem, a very short poem really, but there's a bit of preamble backstory which is in the booklet actually, so I'll read it as it is in the booklet. Some years ago I lived next door to an old chap named Gilbert. He lived alone after the death of his wife with very few visitors. His two sons never visited. I managed to get him some home care as he was housebound, but only once every three days. He had a very limited income, just his state pension, which really wasn't enough. As often as I could, I would do a bit of shopping for him or sit with him, but I had a young family at the time and didn't have time to do more. After a few months, the council made some cuts, which meant the home care stopped. I moved away and went abroad to work soon after and lost touch with Gilbert. Years later, a friend told me that he had been found dead in his house. The verdict for cause of death was hypothermia. Oh, Jesus. There had been a particularly cold snap that year, and when he was found, it was discovered that he had nothing left on his prepayment card oh, for the electric, God. and therefore for heating. Poor bastard. He had frozen to death. I hate to think how many people are in a similar position now, young or old. I wrote this poem in his memory, a poem simply called Gilbert. The night lays down, dark, deep, as the faithful in their graves. He sits with his years in a room filled with utility furniture, fashioned like him, during an old war. His single bar electric fire grows faint and dies amongst drafts that barge through cracked windows, warped doors. The damp that seeps through sponge walls into skin and bone. Each night remembering grows harder as faces grow faithless, faceless. Faithless, he sings a tuneless waltz he once danced with his wife, until, gripped by cold, he stiffens into endless sleep. Thank you.